plot twist. The OG son, the 40 year old man chatting it up, acting like he knows everything was actually a high school girl. How did that make sense? Because she seemed to have like grown up in the boonies, listening and like learning how to talk from like old people. I forget exactly what the definition was, but Snapper fell for it immediately. <laughs> Snapper was like, hmm. The moment she grabbed onto his finger, he just started having a schizo flashback, like the one that Hoban had for Bomi. Now, is there a love triangle forming? I don't know how the Yellow Jacket girl feels about Hoban. It seems like adoration, a super fan, but there were some moments where I was like, eh? And on top of that, we still have Bomi that we're neglecting. Now, there is also a new antagonist. This dude does Taekwondo, and yes, I admit, I am disrespecting Taekwondo, my own national sports, because I'm an amateur hobbyist fight enjoyer. All I know really is yelling world star hip hop whenever people are street fighting. And I've never seen a single time an Asian martial arts has ever won. It's usually whoever tackles and slams the other in the ground that usually wins the match. But combat taekwondo is different. And this dude just keeps asking if we have a hundred yen. That's just like catchphrase. How are we going to beat him? I think that Bomi might get uh, brought in somehow into the conflict, making Hoban have some kind of emotional reason to pop off. Let's begin today's reaction. Special training, it's a setup episode. Basically, he has like a god complex. Yo, is Snapper still filming this? We, 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 we can't really reason with this guy, can we? You know, if he didn't have shoes on, this would be a lot more lewd. Straight up. And if it was a girl. This would be so much. Like, every single one of you would be spamming fucking wood in chat right now. Time to watch Chicken Man's videos. How to counter a kick. I don't think it's gonna work. We need to watch more videos, bro. No. Because <laughs> this is. He never actually wanted the channel, right? He's probably like, you're supposed to like fight and cry and be annoyed and like, you know, get upset, or I can't have fun right now. It was never about the channel. Bro is acting like a coach. This dude, exactly. Your attacks do nothing against someone who lacks shame and is immune to powerlessness. Won't this like make him more upset though? That he can't get off on torturing them psychologically? I don't know. Either he'll go away or like escalate. He seems disappointed? I don't know. But the content... What? Oh, wait. Snap her serious moment? What the fuck? And then you went back on it. He doesn't though, that's the thing. He just talked about he has no fucking shame. Bro has no pride. He's lived a life of a loser the entire how many years he's been alive. So I guess, damn, I didn't know that Snapper felt this way. This is getting so real. I thought that we just want to save Snapper no matter what. But it's like disappointed that we saved him that way. He's kind of right. I mean... There's a saying, even dogs have pride. To basically show, like, sometimes ego and pride, it needs to be set aside and there's more important things. <laughs> time, to, time to go watch more videos, man. He's right. Jacket girl. His name is Wu Chi Hyuk. <laughs> Snapper. I don't know. I like always call him Snapper. Cap. <laughs> she was there, you know? Uh oh. Oh, we're 
about to have a serious moment. Dude, if a guy like Snapper is saying shit like this, can I get some alone time while putting him a smile? Is he gonna start like crying? What's gonna happen? Nah, that, that's a lie on the face. This is a guy that's making it sound like everything's okay when it's not. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but he just wanted to flex on Kyler, so that's why. <laughs> you know what? You, maybe you need to get stronger too. I don't know. He wasn't. Because, like, Hoban's the one that's fighting. I don't think Snapper's ever going to fight. He's the cameraman. We want to show off in front of her. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think this is the moment that she thought you were a loser. I think that she thought y'all were losers from the very beginning. It's not like this is the first time we've been in a position like this. In fact, I'd argue we've been in the worst positions before this guy showed up, but I guess it's because she's finally here in person seeing it. Dude, this is a heartfelt moment, man. Holy fuck. And then this will make Hoban want to fight for Snapper. That was a terrible fucking moment. Still haven't talked to Bomi, dude. I feel like this is the beginning of where Hoban kind of puts his pride on the line for his friends. And it's, I don't know. Because, like, he, this scene, right? This is humiliating as fuck. So I guess this is the kind of, like, show that this is how Snapper might have felt. Like, not the same degree, but, like, having someone you like see you in such a pitiful position, right? So maybe Hoban will go to the lab and, you know, watch a couple more Chicken Man videos. How to beat an ex-retired fucking Taekwondo person. Wait! It's like he regrets quitting because he still uses Taekwondo in game. He didn't really get fired. He... what? Something happened. I thought that he did something illegal and then got cut from the league. But now it's sounding like there's a different reason and he regrets not being able to practice anymore. <laughs> Hoven plays in Tekken, I think. There's a, like a panda and this is a bear, but this is grizzly. Anyways, this is fun that Hoven plays the bear. Got humbled. Okay, 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 wait. Cap, he's already streaming. He's already streaming. The chat's going off. What did he say? What does it say? My little... <laughs> Tehan, you coward. We're watching. I was so scared. I'm using my little sister's account, idiot. <laughs> What are you doing? I, I, I don't think he really cares about your friends. I don't think you really have friends either. But the subscribers though. There it is. Okay, another month of us grinding Chicken Man videos. And then we'll fight him. And then it's going to be great. Who's going to pay for that, bro? This is different from High School of the Dead in episode 7 when Psycho said, I'm wet. <laughs> he wet himself in a different way, non-sexual. <laughs> okay, that's just a little bit of pee pee. It's, it's for Snapper and the content. <laughs> she was talking a lot of shit last episode too. Remember she ran up? He's like, hey, hey. Don't you do that to my friend! And as soon as she saw who he was, she's like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> because the crying scene. <laughs> He's doing this all for Snapper. <laughs> Back into the hyperbolic time chamber. He ain't going to school, no nothing. Not going to talk to Bomi for another month. I don't even know how long it's been since we last talked to Bomi, but one month. Hyperbolic time chamber, grind the videos, and then after that, we'll surely beat him. Power strip?
Of course, the title is exactly going to be something so specific to our needs. How to beat a Taekwondo fighter in a fight as a regular person. I'm surprised the title of this is not like, How to beat an ex-pro Taekwondo fighter who asked for 100 yen at arcades in a fight as a regular person. What's he doing? So he's just like, holding on? He tied it? Some kind of endurance training? I love because like we're going through the playlist, right? This is just lesson three. Like, how is everything just so perfectly lined up chronologically towards like what we have to do? I wonder how many lessons he also has. My guess is as simple as close the distance so that the kicks can't even happen. That's easier said than done. Maybe there's some kind of positioning you can do depending on how he kicks so that we can get in some kind of blind spot and like cut the distance. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, there's gotta be a way though. Chicken man, come on! I love how he's like talking to the chicken man as if he's like, you know, live right now. Cameraman, what you doing? Yeah, she shows like saying it's impossible. Just give up. Lose, bro. There's no rules in street fights. I love Chicken Man, dude. What is these fucking chuny poses, bro? <laughs> he just padded the initial watch time, bro. He could have He just wasted the whole intro just fucking baiting us. If, it, if the kick goes in a straight line or read the fucking straight line, pivot, cut the distance, isn't that easy? Fight in a skating rink? So we need to do some prep. Make sure there's like a lot of gravel around, a lot of the got, they got things to obstruct the kicks, make it even slippery or some shit. Okay. I didn't think about controlling the environment, like setting the map. Let's go fight in the swimming pool or an ice rink. Or on a rainy day, sure. Or calf kick. Surely there's more to it than just picking the right map. He's back at the bathhouse making a being a nuisance for everybody. It's the same fucking scene with the old man's fucking ass crack hidden with this. This dude fucking clipping his toenails. And this old man's blow drawing. God knows what's down there. Teach us a new move. Why are you yelling at the fucking bathhouse? <laughs> you're, you're watching a fucking offline video. <laughs> well, it's an online video, but the guy's not live. And then the people in the fucking bathhouse are like, what are you yelling for? <laughs> dick kick! Kick him in the fucking dick. Make him not be able to use the kicks again. Tackle? What was that? Oh my god! <laughs> the guy in Japanese is so fucking good right now. Oh my god! I mean, if you can do something like this with a punching bag, that means you're probably super fucking strong, right? That's right, because how are you gonna kick if you're on the ground? <laughs> wait, wait, come on. Where's the, where's the ass crack? No ass crack? We no okay no ice crack hold up I, I accidentally also you know went back a little bit too much hold up one second one second like I don't know like how is he gonna simulate tackling we're actually doing underwater resistance training like we're tackling the water. <laughs> okay I was gonna say. This is very sus at the very bottom of the camera because like what is that sticking up? It looks like a finger. 
but it's like what, what what the fuck is that but but then it's the kid's finger i'm like holy shit that was fucking dangerous fuck you kid i bet you don't even i don't even want to say that that sounds weird Bro went in a fucking closet to do this? Bro. Why do you have to be inside? Because I guess the closet has the fucking the bar that you can hang the cord to. <laughs> so he's just been praying. So this is how you do core training? Okay. <laughs> These uh home tutorial training is very inspiring. Using random ass shit like this. <laughs> It's like workout. <laughs> we can't just stop milking our viewers for cash. Snapper says blatantly out loud in front of the audience. But being so shameless and being honest is honestly endearing. And it's better that you have set your expectations with your audience saying this is the kind of person they are. So they'll even support you even when you say some shit. Show us the editor's face. Show us the editor's face. Is she a cutie? Well, is she? Well, she is the, you know, 40-year-old man in chat before. Okay, what's next? Looks like a fucking zombie, bro. Holy shit. Okay, what's the alarm for? Oh, no more calf kick. Yeah, what is the point of the abs training again? It's for the tackle, right? This is all so that we can tackle him better. No, no, no. The tackle is a separate move. The core training is what, actually? To take the kicks? Is, is, is that it? <laughs> there she is, Lolo. She got a cute voice, but uh, please show us your face. Chad is always so fucking down bad. The bat kicks are dangerous, even if they don't catch you fully. So I'm gonna assume the core training is for like an like an armor so that we can take a hit and keep going. Wait, why is she taking a jacket? <laughs> the snapper probably wants this treatment more though. Yeah, this is actually helpful. Yeah, you ever see like boxing training where the trainers are like punching dudes in the fucking stomach? It's like, what's going on? This is actually effective training. It, it is. It is. It's just. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I truly am jealous of you. Is that what he's gonna say? I truly am jealous of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would prefer if Bomi did that to me. Or maybe not even Pomi. What was that other girl? The blonde girl. We haven't seen her in a while. That's actually so hype. How like, in a viral hit channel, it's just like there's not been actual main content for a month because you've just been training, right? But like even like the training and the warm-ups and like the, the lead up to the fight, people are getting like anticipated and hype. So it's almost like an actual like schedule event, like a schedule fight that everyone's excited for at the end of the month or something. Bro's even doing grip training. How do we check if it's an actual rainy day though? Cause like we're at the mercy of the gods. You can check the weather app and if today is supposed to be a scheduled fight but no rain happens, aren't we fucked? Yeah, Alright, what's the weather forecast? Raining, yeah? Oh, God damn. <laughs> of all the weather broadcasters, though, I think the, um, the Latin-speaking ones are the best. Some something about them. The way that they are, they're able to turn left and bend is just... It's just un unmatched. But, like, holy fuck. It's just so funny how like weather forecasters just like reading off a teleprompt and showing us what's going on. But like what matters really the most is like how curvy they are. Because it's weather. It's crazy how sex sells like sex sells in any fucking industry. Even in something as boring as weather. If there's like a hot girl doing it, it's just the numbers go up. Yeah, it's porn all right. Oh my goodness. The rain doesn't seem to be showing up, man. <laughs> it's a heat wave and coming. No more rain. We're fucked. The rain is supposed to be our most important thing, though. The rain, the map. 
We need to do something else. What can we do? Fucking grease the ground. What are we supposed to do? The picking the, you know, wet terrain is the most important thing. We can't just, like, you know, invite that guy to a skating rink either. Maybe we just grease up, just oil up the fucking map. <laughs> No, not again. Where are we going? Really, bro? <laughs> Taehyun's watching? Yeah. It's kind of weird how you're just taking a piss and watching viral history at the same time. I mean, personally, I don't like to, you know, do this kind of shit when I'm taking a piss. He's, he's pretty stupid. He thinks that, like, you're going to finally become rich by getting that YouTube channel. But it's like, you think that you just getting the channel is going to make you money? It's like, if you don't make content repeatedly over and over, like, you have no money. And people are sub to that channel specifically for them. They don't really care about you. So, like, him getting the channel really doesn't make him rich. See, if he was smart, what he should have said was, you guys keep the YouTube channel. But like 70% of your earnings, or even more, belongs to me moving forward. That's what he should have done. EW! Ch I thought it was piss. I, th I, th I, thought it I thought it's the fucking piss, bro. I thought it's the fucking piss for a second. He can't just do the same content. It's just not that easy. The whole, per the whole like, fascinating thing about Viral Hit is about a no-name dude that's just like, waging fights and like, becoming better and it's like an inspiring story. No one gives a fuck about a, a professional beating people up. That's just, just not the same type of content, but like, holy shit, this is... <laughs> Hoban? No, it's not Hoban, right? Who is this? Hoban! Going Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> you remember the battle in the bathroom with their big bro? Okay, okay, this is the way to do it. It's just, are you gonna let him you know, finish taking a piss or what? <laughs> End of the Bro, when you're taking a piss and another dude splashes you with water, the first thing I'm gonna think is, did this guy just piss on me? And then you're gonna fucking lick your lips after that? Wash your hands, bro! Ew. Map, yeah. And you know what? I guess the goal was to make a narrow alley and make it super wet. So, like, this bathroom is actually fucking perfect. He said his signature line. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have the notification on for our next upload, guys. <laughs> I can't believe how this cringe-ass generic YouTube fucking call to action has become his fucking, you know, signature line. Hit that notification button, baby. <laughs> We're cooked. We're cooked. He, he can punch. I didn't think about that. I thought that he could only kick. Why is he fucking punching? Why does he have a stance up, bro? Are we ready for this? But like, we should have calf kick and the other things, you know, taking the hit without taking damage and the overhand punch for this kind of situation, right? I thought Taehyung practiced Taekwondo plot twist. Fucking plot twist. Oh yeah, he just kind of well-rounded. No, 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 no. This is all to kind of hype up the crowd. No, no, we're get, we're baiting the crowd intentionally. We are farming the crowd. Surely we have everything under control. Okay, we're fucking cooked. We're, we're just getting slapped around. You thought unsure footing would let you win? Some say he's naive. Some say he's an idiot. That's what you get for underestimating a pro. And I guarantee you, next episode, as soon as things start to change, the chat will then do an immediate 180 and be like, I always knew he could do it! <laughs> Dude, these aren't even punches. We're getting fucking slapped. Okay! Did it do damage? Why didn't he slip? Water shoes! Bro came really prepared! Wait! He... This, this fucking training part 
I didn't realize that he had shoes on. They didn't show us the fucking legs underneath. Bro bought the newest fucking New Balances, Adidas, whatever the fucking kicks these are. Got that full grip. Gorilla grip on the ground. That kid's fucking... Hey, mom. Hey, dad, mom. Why is that guy stink so small? Look at him. It's just perfect censorship. Thank you. Thank you, kid. Thank you. 140 yen limited coupon no this is a discount to that 1499 yen that's so much cheaper how much was our fucking gucci jacket dude that we like got together that shit was like 150k <laughs> we have to hold up for three minutes so we can insert ads i need to survive for three minutes so I can have the ad revenue, please. I need to survive. Sorry, guys. I need to stall now. <laughs> Next episode, Hopin dies. That is pretty much today's episode. I love... It's just the seriousness, the direness kind of just like washes away when he says shit like, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon. Or like, we need to last three minutes, guys, for the ad revenue blatantly being shameless about something is honestly the best way to go about this and that's how I approach things too today's episode was pretty much set up right i mean we did get a little bit of the fight at the end but today's episode was lesson three i love how the chicken man videos are just perfectly in chronological order such that we can be you know ready for the how to fight an amateur dude and suddenly the third video is just like you know the taekwondo guy the whole tip was find like a map terrain environment where it's like hard for them to kick a wet you know ground is the best and then after that was like training your core so you can take the hits we haven't really gotten hit by a kick yet which kind of doesn't really make sense because like um i mean it it, it does make sense and I'm, I'm not sure what the training of the core is because it seems like you know we he Taehyung's not going to be able to kick as well too, right? And we need to get a tackle on too. So hopefully this fight's going to go well. There's no way we're going to lose this. I just don't think we're going to lose. It's going to be interesting to see if Taehyung has any like anything else that he's hiding. And then it's like, holy shit. Not only can he kick and do other shit, he could also do that kind of deal and want to figure something else out. And I guess some other thing is how Snapper and Hoban have become true friends, right? In the beginning, he said, who cares about pride? I care about surviving. But then Snapper crying about he how he got embarrassed in front of a girl reminded how Hoban of how he got embarrassed in front of a girl. So he's like, all right, bro, I'll do this for you. It's a beautiful friendship that's blossoming. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.